how to add a product to your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with adding products to your Shopify store, how you can build categories and create meta fields for adding more product information. So let's get into it. And if you want a free trial of Shopify without having to pay hundreds of dollars even for their premium versions, check out the link in the description box down below to get started with using Shopify for free. So make sure to check out that link and you will get free Shopify and you also will enjoy three months of Shopify all of their premium features for only one dollar a month after your trial period will expire so let's get into it now Shopify is one of the most largest e-com platforms out there and everyone knows about Shopify and it's super popular but there are quite a few different reasons why it is so popular and I learned those the hard way because I did not have anyone telling me how I could create meta fields and products and categories. So let's break down all the information that I personally, personally have learned over the years while using Shopify and running my own store on Shopify. So to get started, simply log on to your Shopify account and go into products on the left side. Now, once you have gone to products, you will see this is just a sample store. So we are going to get started with adding products. Now, this can be done in multiple different ways. You might have your own product. You might want to drop ship products. If you are doing drop shipping, then you want to add your supplier over here. If you're using something like, uh, you know, in another third party platform, then you want to add that supplier over here. But if you are adding your own products directly, you just want to click on add your product over here. And from here, we will begin adding our product. Now, you might wonder we're moving directly into products because we are going to create a sample product. And then I will show you guys later on how you can build categories, collections, how you can manage your orders with those products. So the first thing you have to do is add a title for your product. Let's say this is going to be, this is going to be a pineapple printed t-shirt. After that, you want to add a description. Now, what we did not have in the past and you guys now have access to is AI writing tools directly embedded into the Shopify platform. So instead of having to write your own descriptions, if you haven't done that already, you can add some basic features of your product. It can be a very unique product. If I'm creating my own scented candles, I can add the basic scent features, shapes, and information, and then it will create a description for my product. So let's say it's going to be and then after I have added some features and the basic keywords that I might want to include, let's say I want to include the keyword of comfortable. After that, you have your tone. So you can add the tone that you want. Let's say I want this to be in a playful tone. And then you can add any special instructions as well. So if you want emojis to be included, if you're targeting a younger audience, then you might want emojis, but I'm just going to click on generate text and I will have the text generated for me. I can keep it as it is and description will be added to my product. Obviously, if you have your own description, you can insert that over here as well. If you have certain images like size chart images, you can also insert those over here, but I don't recommend inserting them here. Instead, you should insert them in the media and you should insert them as, as the last image if you are uploading size charts that are individual for each individual product however if you have a general size chart for your entire brand you might as well just upload it in your inventory section and have it added as a meta field in all of your products now after we have added our uh, description you can also embed code in this if you want to include you know any other type of media file then you can in encode that over here as well now after that you have your media you can click on over here and add files and upload the images of your product next up you have your pricing so let's say our product is ten dollars now you can choose to charge tax on your product and this will be based upon the location information that you have added in your shopify store so your tax is going to vary depending on which state you are present or which country that you are present in for different states the taxes are going to be different the sales tax is different the overall taxes are going to be different and that will impact the overall price of the product 
Now, after that, to calculate your own profit and margins, you can add your cost per item, and this won't be visible to the customers at all. So feel free to add that. Let's say it cost me $6 to get this t-shirt, and I'm getting a $4 profit, which is pretty high, but let's say we're going to make this a little more realistic with $8. Then I have inventory. Now, if you want to track your quantity, you can enable this, but if you have something like a print-on-demand product where you really don't have a stock quantity, you're doing it as it happens, you know, as you get your orders, then you can choose to not track quantity. But I will add my quantity and I will list 99 available units of this product. Now, if you have a product that has recurring stock, so if you keep on creating the product, you can choose to sell it even when it is out of stock. Now, this is optional. I don't recommend turning this on if you don't have a high or a very efficient or speedy development process of your product. If it takes time to develop your product, then you don't want to enable this. Now, make sure you are checking out our link to get started with Shopify because a lot of these features on Shopify are only going to be available on the uh, actual version of Shopify. If you just do a free trial without having a plan selected, then you're not going to be able to launch your store. So to do that, make sure to check out our link. Now, moving on, let's go ahead and uh, add a SQ or barcode. This is basically just a code that you can establish within your business just to keep track of your unit. So let's say this is going to be 003, SK003, whatever SK you want to use, you can just have your stock keeping units organized in that way. Now, after that, you will have your shipping information. This is going to vary for different items. This is obviously a physical product, but if you are not going to do Shopify shipping or, you know, you're not going to set up your shipping methods on Shopify, you can, you know, exclude information from here, but I do recommend adding that for a t-shirt. I will add 0.04 pounds and you can do uh, grams, kilograms, ounces as well. Now, what I do recommend is if you're selecting pounds or kilograms, you actually select the lowest weight limit of your parcels that you can send. Whenever you are sending a parcel, you are going to get that wrapping paper and it has like a weight limit on how heavy of a product can be packed in that. You want to add that as the shipping weight. So let's say the smallest uh, shipping package that my delivery services that I'm using provide me with a one kilogram shipping weight, or let's say it's a point let's say it's a half kilogram one so i want to add that as my shipping weight not the actual weight of the product because i'm gonna have to purchase that package anyway uh, that is going to be the weight limit for that now after that you can add variant now this is a, a very simple way that you can add any kind of variant so you have size color material and style let's say we just want to add sizes and from here, you're going to add the values, which means if you have colors, you are going to add the colors that your item is available in. So let's say our pineapple t-shirt is available in pink, blue, and white. Then I would add those over here and separate them with a comma. But for us, this is sizes. It is going to be small, medium, and large. Let's say we just have these. And then I would just click on done. Now, with each variant, if you are offering more customizable variants or something that is going to cost you more, you can choose to increase the price of a certain variant as well. Let's say you offer customization of your product, so you can add expensive variants as well. Now, after that, you can also add the on hand or available units of the individual sizes as well. Let's say I have 50 available of small, 10 available of medium, and 22 available in the large size. So in this way, I can manage my inventory of each individual size as well. Now, after that, you want to scroll back up and on the right side of your screen, you're going to have the status of the product. I want to launch this product instantaneously. Then you will have your product category in the right side of your screen. So this is going to be categorized in shirts and tops. This is the suggestion that I'm going to get. Obviously, this fits my category, so I will add it as such. Now, you can create your product type as well. This is going to be t-shirts, and then I can add my vendor and collections as well. Let's say this is going to be in a specific collection, but we're going to build those later on, so I will add that later. And then let's say I want to add the tag t-shirt, summer 2023, pineapple, 
like so in this way i can add my tags as well and once i have added all of this information all i have to do is click on save on the top right and my product will be created so just like that i have created my first product on my shopify store now once you have created your product you want to go into collections on the left side of your screen and you want to create all of the basic collections that you assume that you're going to be using in Shopify, such as for my store, if it's a clothing store, let's say I want to create a t-shirt section, a jeans section, a blouses section, and a bottom section. So I would click on create collection because those might be the major categories that all of my products would be included in. So I'm going to add a collection called t-shirts and this is just to keep my items organized and then the connection uh, collection type is going to be manual so i'm going to manually add product and then i will just click on save over here then you can also categorize your collections in the form of you know individual collection items or launches like summer collection your pineapple print collection where you can label all of your pineapple print items and then you can add one item in multiple different collections as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful well, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify for free. And I will catch you guys in the next video.